Hello students, continue with the fourth day of school from home. Hi, Madam Jyotika, your science teacher with your wow science book and we were doing chapter cell. So, in the previous video, I have explained to you about how to prepare a slide and observed it under the microscope. Now, today we will study about the structure of cell and the animal cell. See, I explained to you before that cells are of different shapes and size. But all cells have some common basic structure that are cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. So, the first is cell membrane. It is the boundary of the cell that is the outermost covering of the cell and also called as plasma membrane. It has pores on it and allow only certain selective substance to pass through it and therefore also called as semi-permeable membrane. The second part now, cytoplasm. It's a jelly-like substance that fills the cell and contains several minute structures which are called as cell organelles like mitochondria, lysosomes, Golgi body, etc. I'll explain all these organelles further when we'll study the animal cell. Now the third main part of a cell is nucleus. It is a spherical body that lies in the center of the cell and is called as the brain of the cell. Yes, brain. You know why? It controls all the important functions of cell and it contains a liquid at the center which is called as nucleoplasm and it has a porous membrane, nuclear membrane. This nuclear membrane separates the nucleus from the cytoplasm and the most important thing about it is it contains the cell genetic material in form of thread-like substance which are thread-like structures which are called as chromatin fibers. The these chromatin fibers they carry genes and these genes are responsible for passing up of characters from one generation to another. I can give you a real life example of it like the physical trait how we look and lot of other stuff about us like straight or curly hair, brown or black eyes, color of the hair. These all characters or traits are passed from one generation to another by genes only. Now, coming to the page 191, the animal cell. It consists of the main, that three features that I have explained already, that is cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus. The next, it has some organ leaves which are embedded in the cytoplasm, like lysosome. This organ leaf is called as the suicide bags of the cell as they contain many digestive enzymes and destroy the foreign body if enters inside it and sometimes it itself destroy also and therefore called as the suicidal bag. Next organ is the Golgi apparatus. It helps in the formation of these lysosomes organ and is also responsible for processing the proteins and enzymes required for the process of the cell. Next important, very important organ of the cell is the mitochondria. This mitochondria is also called as the powerhouse of the cell as it helps in generating energy and that energy is generated in the form of ATP that is adenosine triphosphate which is produced during the process of respiration. There are more organ leaves which we are going to study in the next video. So that's all for today and here are some in between questions from the topic explained. These questions are also uploaded on school website. I hope the topic explained today must be clear to you. Try to make more in-between questions and read the chapter explained till now thoroughly. Thank you.